Well, another holiday tradition, we always go out for breakfast on Christmas Eve. And I can tell you that I am not eating breakfast. I ate way too much yesterday. I woke up completely full, so I'm probably just going to have a cup of tea. I, I, I can't eat just to eat. Who would ever think I'd say something like that? But anyway. So, it's a gloomy day. Very damp. Raining just a little bit. Like misting right now. But we're supposed to get rain all day. So, are you, is it Christmas Eve good to you? Yep, not too shabby. Yep, I got everything I wanted. Guess what I didn't get? My windshield wiper plates. But... I'll get those this week. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys soon. Well, good morning. Today is Sunday. I'm losing all track of time here. It's Sunday, December 24th. It's Christmas Eve. But we have birthdays today because today is Mary Jane Higgins' birthday. So Mary Jane, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary Jane. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Mary Kerwin's birthday, so Mary, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Mary, happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. And last but not least, it's Bonnie Brayton's birthday, so Bonnie, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Bonnie, happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Well, I hope all three of you have a great, great birthday. But we have an anniversary today because today is my friend, my special dear friend, Diana Antu, and her husband, Patrick's 31st anniversary. So, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great, great anniversary today, Diana. Can't believe you got married on Christmas Eve. Although my nephew Eddie just got engaged today to his love of his life, um, so they're getting married. I don't know when. His sister just got married in September, and uh, Brad and Amy, his, their parents, said you cannot engage, you cannot uh, get engaged or get married this year, <laughs> just the, all the expenses and stuff. But she went and got engaged, so we're all happy. Um, well, I didn't film very much yesterday. I did open one, uh, film a little bit. Um, Jim got Sebastian and Sophia because Sophia loves to shoot. She goes to the range with Jim all the time. And Sebastian loves to shoot. Oliver doesn't. He doesn't, the noise and stuff bothers him. David does too. David's saving up for uh, his own rifle. So we gave him a gift card uh, at Cabela's because I guess he's got a gun that he's spotted that he wants to get. So we got him a gift card. And then... Um, so I just did a really quick film, but uh, Jim had got, I started to tell you, Jim had got Sebastian and Sophia, you'll shoot your eye out, <laughs> the Red Rider BB gun. And so um, I, here's a quick film of um, Sebastian opening that gift. Uh, Great, Grandpa, give the kid a light bulb. What'd you get, Oliver? This. Is this a BB gun? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you shoot your eye out, man. Looking your eye. Oh, so let me guess. These are probably blue. Yeah. Yep. Do me a favor, Sebastian. Go like this. Grab them. Oh, yeah, I saw them. I was like, oh, they're fine. Shake it. Shake it. These are metal. The carbide problem. Oh, my God. It's in the way, though. Why are you just shaking it? Say, all I think I also showed you him getting this ball. Jim saw this ball on uh, the internet that is kind of like a, I don't know, it's like you hold it and it kind of spins. It was really weird. It was... Sebastian knew right away how to work it, so it was. I must be something. I guess it's on TikTok or something. But everybody loved their gifts. But what's funny is because uh, I always buy gifts for the kids um, that's separate just from me, and uh, I gave them. I give them to them when we go to Jimmy's house for the Christmas party with the family, and then Jim always gets them something that he gives after they open all the gifts from both me and Jim and everybody else. 
And so Jim had bought them the Red Rider BB guns and Sebastian just loved it. He couldn't wait to get home to shoot it, but he was a little disappointed because he said, Jim, uh, Danny says, it's too late tonight. And he says, well, in the morning I'll do it. And he says, well, you know, we have to do our Christmas in the morning because uh, Danny's divorced. And so the kids are going at noon with, um, with Shannon. So I don't know when he's going to get to shoot it, but he was very anxious to. And then um, Oliver was disappointed because one of his puppets didn't come that he ordered. And I told him it was a, a special order item. I guess it was because it's a customized puppet. And so it's not going to be delivered to the end of January. So he says, well, at least I got a gift to look forward to for next month, next year. Or next month, rather. Next, well, it would be next year, in January. It'd be next month, next year. So I said, well, when it gets here, I'll bring it over to you and you'll get it. And then, um, and I had got him a, a Michigan State, Michigan, University of Michigan sweatshirt. And, you know, like typical kid, you know, he leans over and he says, Grandma, I love, love, love hoodies, but I am not into sports. So please stop buying me sports hoodies. <laughs> so I got to call Danny today to tell him I want to take that sweatshirt back and then go exchange it for a different hoodie for him. But we all had a really good time. Um, I ate too much. I had too many sweets. Christy made her chocolate chip cookies and her peanut butter cookies and her chocolate drop cookies. They were just so good. And then I had uh, my turtle cake and I ate so much that I did not sleep well last night. I was on a sugar high like you wouldn't believe. Uh, not like Elf where he could eat all the, the basic food groups, <laughs> candy canes. What is it, candy canes? Oh my gosh, I forgot. My mind went blank. Sugar cookies. I know candy cane sugar cookies and there's something else. Part of the food groups of Elf. We haven't watched that yet this year. We'll probably watch that tomorrow. Um, and so like when we went out to breakfast, I had a cup of tea. <laughs> That's all I had was a cup of tea. And it's, uh, I said good morning, but it's actually afternoon because Jim and I filmed the Christmas tag for tomorrow. We, are, we filmed that this, when we got back from breakfast. Now we're watching the Lions game. It's halftime, and we are ahead at this point, so I'm glad about that. And then um, I got lots of nice stuff. I got um, I got five books. I got gift cards. I got gift cards to Starbucks, to Panera, Texas Roadhouse, Amazon, and Target. Um, I got a new set of blanket for my bed. My my kids make fun of me. <laughs> this bed. I've had, since 1981, I don't know if you can see it, my bed, since 1981, and the blankets on the bed, not the not the comforter, but the blanket itself was from 1981, <laughs> because I like this blanket, it's a weird kind of a blanket, uh, it's not like a wool blanket, it's not like a cotton blanket, it's, it's like a woven, weaved kind of a blanket, very lightweight, but it's warm in the winter, and, or like, and in the summer it's cool enough that you can wear it, whatever. But uh, so I got, Christy bought me a blanket. She says, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. She doesn't sleep in my bed. I don't have a problem with it. And then I did get some more sheets, which I did need. And uh, some towels. Uh, Melissa got me some Godiva chocolate. <sighs> I love Godiva chocolate. It was a small box. At least it wasn't a big box. It was a small box of Godiva chocolate. She was just so happy because this is her first year, her first job. And she actually went Christmas shopping with her own money and bought her own gifts. And then, um, trying to think what else I got. Oh, I got some body lotion. And no windshield wiper blades. <laughs> Nobody got me my windshield wiper blades. I didn't get those. But I got so much good stuff. I really did. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I, I did, it was just... It was just a whirlwind. It really was. I had such a good time. The reason I'm in here is like everybody's outside, out in the other rooms. This is the only room I could find to do my filming because I want to get this up pretty quickly. So, but anyway, I did go by the post office after breakfast and I did get some mail. So let me see. Tis the season to be jolly. Wishing you all the joy and jo wishing you all the jolly joys of Christmas. Merry Christmas, love, Clary. Carolyn Blackman, I watch you on YouTube every day. I notice and you comment just about every day, too. I so appreciate the comments, too. And then, got another one. Open it up. I just slipped them. I haven't opened, opened them up yet. There we go. 
Have a holly jolly Christmas. Diana, Diane, Audrey, A-U-D-B-A-D-E, Rest Vista, California. I've never heard of that, but thank you. A-N-D-R-A-D-E, Rio Vista. The eyes, first thing to go. And then I got a postcard from D over at Dish with D. I, I've never seen a Christmas postcard. I think this is so cool. Best best wishes to you and your family this Christmas. Love, Denise. Well, thank you, Denise. I've never seen a Christmas postcard. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, today is Christmas Eve. It's time for my Christmas memory. Um, I was going to share with you my best gift I've ever received in my whole entire life for 73 years. But one of the things I wanted to tell you first was why Christmas is so special to me is because of um, family. But um, I remember, like, I've, I've told you this many, many times that when I was growing up, I didn't realize we were poor. <laughs> uh, we were poor. And I didn't realize that because my mother uh, and my father both made such a strive to make sure that we got everything that we ever wanted and what we needed. I can't ever say that even though there was things that I wanted and thought I needed that I didn't was deprived of. Uh, we would get brand new coats every other year. It would depend on where you were in the standings where you got it. And um, my my year was the pea coat and that was it was so in style and I was so excited because I got the pea coat. Well, you know, like as all styles change every year and the following year bench warmers were the were the rage. And so everybody got their new coats and I didn't get a I didn't get a bench warmer. I I had to leave I had to make do with my my pea coat. But when I opened up my presents on Christmas for some reason, a bonus year I got I got my be my bench warmer coat, which I was so excited about. But that's still not my best gift ever. It's still not. But like I said, my mother, when it was our birthdays and stuff, she would ask us the month ahead of time. You had to ask, you had to say what you wanted for your dinner and what you wanted for your gift. And looking back, I can see we ate a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> we had glorified hot dogs. We had boiled hot dogs. We had broiled hot dogs. We had hot dogs chopped up and put in spaghetti sauce. We had we had a lot of hot dogs, <laughs> but. We got whatever we wanted at Christmas, and we got or on our birthdays or on Christmas. We always got whatever we wanted, and uh, and I realize now that my mother needed to know a month ahead of time so that she could scrimp on the budget to get you what you wanted. The only thing my father ever wanted every year was to go to Boston because his family. He grew up in Boston. They met during the war. Um, my father was stationed down in Pensacola, Florida, before he was sent out. He was part of the invasion in Normandy. His ship was one of the main ships, but anyway. Um, he met my mother because his bunkmate or whatever they call him when they share quarters, um, my uncle Warren um, had married my aunt Agnes and my mother, which was my mother's sister, obviously. And so my mother had gone down there just to visit her sister. And my dad was on leave, and he met my mother, and they got married. And then, since my mother was from Detroit, where my mother's family was from Detroit, they moved back up here. But every year, my dad wanted to go home for Christmas. And uh, which entailed flying. Uh, actually, my father always took the train, but then the, he took a plane one time because when my grandmother died, that uh, was it my grandmother or my grandfather? It was my grandfather, or maybe it was my grandmother. I don't remember which one, but uh, he didn't like to fly. And my uncle Ed had flown back with my dad because so, he had to fly for the funeral, and she, he flew back and got out of the uh, airplane, walked a couple of gates over, got on the airplane, flew back to Boston like he was just taking a bus or something. But anyway, my dad wanted always wanted to go home for Christmas. And so what we would do is we'd get up on Christmas morning. We'd have um, Christmas breakfast or, you know, like whatever, like a small little breakfast. We'd go to church. And then when we got back, we'd have like our dinner that was in the oven while we were at church. So we usually ate our dinner about 1 o'clock. And then my mother would drive my father to the airport at 2.30, which was like an hour away. He'd take like a 3.30, 4 o'clock flight and uh, be in time to have uh, Christmas dinner with his mom and his brothers and sisters in Boston. Um, looking back, I realized my mother must have really, really pinched the pennies for the year to make that happen for my dad. So um, anyway, all I can tell you is 
now I'm going to tell you what my best gift I've ever received in my life. It's a gift that I received 73 years ago. It's a gift that I treasure every single day of my life. One that is just irreplaceable. And it's because of my parents and it's the gift of family. Um, it's just knowing how important family is to me. And it's just a gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving and giving. And I just think of all the things I've gotten in all my life, all the presents and stuff like that, a lot of them I can remember, a lot of them I forget. But the one that I'll never forget is the one that I keep in my heart and my soul. And I've had it with me for 73 years and I enjoy it the whole year round. And that's the gift of family. And I'm gonna be like a blubbering idiot. There's no crying here. It's Christmas time. There's no crying at Christmas time. But best gift ever, the gift of family. Can't be replaced. And it's never going to go away. I just know it's never going to go away. So my wish to you is, my present to you, is that you have the same gift of friendship and love. Know that I treasure all of you in my hearts and souls, and I pray for you, and I keep you in my thoughts, and I just wish... For you, the happiness that I have every day of my life, I hope that you get to share the same joy with your family and your friends. I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. I will be on tomorrow to do a quick little video because you can't miss anybody's birthdays. People are still born on Christmas Day. Go figure. <laughs> but anyway, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas and um, hold your family close tonight because they are the greatest gift you'll ever receive.